welcome back to Alisa doing it my way. I'm your girl, Alisa. Hey y'all, hey. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. No, today is not Monday. Today is Tuesday. Being in the hospital threw me off, y'all. <laughs> threw me off. I just came up here to say hi real quick. I'm out um, getting something to eat. Um, I just left the doctor's office. I think I found my doctor, y'all. I think I found my doctor, my new doctor. Well, my new doctor for as long as I'm here in Texas. Um, I think I told y'all the story. I'm not sure, but I'm going to tell you again. When I was in the hospital, this guy came to do my EKG. And, uh, and he was so funny and he saw you know how nervous and stuff I was and we just started talking about the doctors and everything like that he referred me to his primary doctor after hearing like everything that I've been through with the doctor that I was going to he done gave me a primary doctor he told me what cardiologist to use even though we go to the same Office. He even gave me a dentist, y'all. So <laughs> he even referred me to a dentist. But um, I went to go see the primary doctor, and they were so nice in there. They were so nice. Um, yeah, they were so nice. Um, you know, um, they take their time with you and explain everything. You know what a real doctor should and he seems like he knows what he's doing so i'm happy right now um just came my mom was calling me on the screen <laughs> so i just left there i have to go and get some blood work done tomorrow y'all but right now i'm out at the where my like like um I guess this is a bar no it's not really a barbecue place. I took y'all here before. I'm here to get some like grilled chicken, a whole grilled chicken for myself. They have like chicken and burritos and stuff like that. But I decided to wait in the car and let everybody else go in. So I am going to get me some dinner. Then I'm thinking about going to the crystal shop. I don't know how many of y'all are into crystals. I used to be into like crystals. I wouldn't say heavy, but I used to be into crystals a lot. Back in Jersey, I used to like carry them and stuff like that. Um, I wanna get back into them. I guess we gotta have a whole session on like different crystals and their healing properties. Different crystals for different healing properties different signs like your horoscope and stuff like that but I think I'm going to go to the crystal shop and I want some incense so they have the good incense over there so I'll take y'all guys with me to the crystal shop after I leave here hopefully they're still open everything closes here so early so I'll see y'all there I went inside the crystal store. They don't have much of anything out here. That little rinky dink store. And then they got the nerve to charge crazy, crazy, crazy for their stuff. You know me, I always gotta rub it in. Like, that's all y'all got. <laughs> but let me show y'all what I got. I don't know. They gave me this free. Uh lavender incense what else did I get I just got a bracelet um, a bracelet I'm gonna go home and cleanse it first before I put it on malachite malachite it's good for uh, a lot of them are good for stress and anxiety 
stuff like that. But this also helps with like penis cramps, I heard, and stuff like that. I don't know how good y'all can see it. I'm gonna cleanse it before I put it on. And what else did I get? Some little, I guess they're, they're cones. Well, I don't, I forget what the name of these things are. Incense cones. That's just what they are, incense cones. And this one smells so good, y'all. You put it on, I have like a waterfall burner. You put it on the waterfall burner and let it burn throughout the house. I'll show y'all when y'all, when I do it. But right now, I'm on my way to Kroger's. I wanna get me some no salt turkey. I really want some damn salami, y'all. Oh, I miss salami and Swiss cheese, but uh, when I was in the hospital, they said it would help, like, if I plan my meals. So I just, I don't really have, like, nothing for lunch. I don't know. It's like you always plan for, like, dinner or maybe breakfast. I don't really have a lot of lunch stuff to tell, so... I'm just gonna get me some turkey and some bread. I'm just following the diet that they gave me when I was in the hospital, y'all. So, I don't know. Maybe y'all see y'all at Kroger's. Just went over the railroad. Good morning, y'all. Yeah, it's days later. <laughs> it's Saturday morning. It's Saturday morning. I had to get up early. Um, going to the lab to do blood work. I went the other day. Now, mind you, they close at 5 o'clock. I got there about maybe 3.45, and they told me there was too many people. Um, so I made an appointment today for 9, 10 this morning. That's the only thing about, like, the new doctor. Um... He has a, a, a phlebotomist there, but she's only there in the morning. So I don't know. I have to try to see from now on if I can get there in the mornings to do blood work. That was the only thing good about the old doctor's office. Like they had a whole lab and everything inside of there. It was like a clinic sort of, but I don't need that. Like I need somebody more personal, somebody that I can call and be able to, you know, speak or make sure my messages get across to the doctor. So um, I'm glad I found this doctor. Like I said, I called one day. They had me in like the very next day. Or I've called, you know, again for, had a question for them and, um, it's just very good uh, for me anyway to be able to have more of a personal, you know, relationship with an office as opposed to like some of these big clinics or whatever. So I'm on my way to go to blood work and I think I want to get me some Starbucks or something this morning. Like I want to treat myself. I'm not going to have coffee. I may or may not get a medicine ball, I don't know. But I uh, like these ham and Swiss paninis they have. So I've been craving one all week, so I think I'm gonna do that with a piece of their lemon pound cake, lemon loaf cake. Yeah, right now it's the little things, y'all. It's the little things, even though I can think of a thousand other things that I wanna eat, but um, it's the little thing, so I'll see y'all at the lab. Hey, y'all. On my way to the lab. It is cold out here, man. I know if it's cold here in Texas, it is cold. Road back home up north. Um, still have on this light jacket, though. Like, I gotta worn a winter coat. Something like that. Two and a half years. I don't want to say it's two years. I'm just saying, well, it is. Well, what was it? March of 
That's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to spend the majority of my day looking for some apartments back home. Y'all, these people had the nerve to call me yesterday. I guess I must have put in for something. Uh, it's an apartment, two bedrooms, two baths. And I want to say they said $2,300. Oh my goodness, $2,300 a month, y'all, for two bedrooms, two bathrooms. It was in Woodbridge, Woodbridge, New Jersey, so, I mean, that area is, is, is pretty, you know, decent, or whatever, so, but still, $2,000, like, do they think these people are that can afford to pay that? And it's like, I don't even think a lot of people pay that much for a mortgage. $2,300 for two bedrooms. Two. Two bedrooms. So, I don't know. But that's the thing about back home. It's like, if you don't want to live in the hood, then you're going to have to pay. A pretty penny, but I'd rather do that than send me Texas because y'all already know how I feel about Texas, so there ain't no need to <laughs> discuss it. But I'm on my way to the lab, y'all. I'll catch y'all after. I'm at Starbucks, y'all. The lab was quick. Those people that didn't have appointments was looking salty. I guess the line at Starbucks ain't too bad today. But y'all, why is the line always long like this and Chick-fil-A? Which lines do you think are worse? Starbucks or Chick-fil-A? Do you go to Starbucks? Let me turn this around. Do y'all go to Starbucks? What's your favorite to get? Like I said, I'm getting the ham and Swiss panini. I get it's a lemon loaf, and if they don't have the lemon loaf left, what is that thing I get? Uh, what's the next one? The banana nuts. They have a banana nut loaf, and then they have some kind of pumpkin something. So. I don't really like their coffee. Their coffee is too strong for me. And I don't drink milk, so it's like the black coffee. Mm -hmm. I don't like it. But yeah, y'all. I'm hungry. I made it back home, y'all. Y'all, I begin for be forgetting to film while I'm inside these places. I be like, I'll see you at soon, so my ass be forgetting. I went to the lab, but y'all know that already. I went to Starbucks. I went to my daughter's job to play the lotto. So I played, what did I play? The Powerball. I forget how much they say it was. I played the Powerball, and I played the Texas Lotto for the first time. Like, the Texas Lotto, I think the lady said it was, like, up to $38 million or something like that. I am never prepared, like, when I do that. Like, I always say I want to put in my own numbers as well as the quick picks, but it just seems like I be out, and I remember, I'm like, okay. Let me stop and play the lottery and don't have the numbers like on me that I want to play. But I played those. So. 
Let's see if we win, y'all. Let's see if we win. If I win the power wall, taking one of y'all, just one, taking one of y'all with me. That's a promise. I'm taking one of y'all with me. So, ah, uh, what else did we do? Got some boxes. Let me see if I can turn this around. Hold on, y'all. Let me get up. <sighs> Got some boxes. Yeah, got a few boxes. Told y'all. Sorry, y'all. My storage ran out. Don't this look good, y'all? Oh, this looks so good. Only once in a while, y'all. Only once in a while. I'm sitting here watching Miss Christian. On YouTube, y'all. I should have paused it. I'm up here catching up on some of y'all videos that I missed while I was in the hospital and just, you know, not feeling too well. But that's it, you guys. That's all I got. I ain't got no more. Let me close this video out. What well, is storage done? Started messing up again. Make sure y'all are following me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Yeah, make sure y'all are following me. You can email me at Elisa doing it my way, the number two at gmail.com. And have y'all picked up my first book on Amazon, Along Came Mimi, written by Elisa Bilbo. You can find that on Amazon. Stay tuned for my second book coming out soon. But again, y'all, thank y'all for stopping by. At least I'm doing it my way. And I'll see y'all guys again soon. Bye.